So you have an extra? You need a TV show extra? Oh, you're extra. Uh, you go first. You have to buy some of the, the new old truth reading up there. Are you going to the Solar Living Center, is that? Is that where you're going? Keep this rolling. Yes, yes, I saw that they finally got this on, on show it, show it, show it yes. to the camera. Yes, it's an Indian Point shutdown petition that they finally got inside ABC Home. Yes, there's more upstairs that you can take with you, and there's a petition you can sign if you want to. Large-scale release, the area could be permanently uninhabitable. So who's more strong? He, he, he. He's completely against the, the welfare of the earth, in my opinion. Oh, okay. Well, you're, you're on tape now, basically, <laughs> admonishing him like this. I don't know how we all feel about that. But. You don't? <laughs> no. Tell me what the event is. You must know a little bit about the event. Come on. It's the uh, ultra event. What is ultra? For, um, candles and scents uh, by Manuel Castellino. Is there any information lying around anywhere that I can pick right, up? Right there. On the it's on the table. Camera. What's your name? Laura. Laura. Thank you, Laura. One big gulp, you don't take a little bite and look what's inside? Oh, I see. Okay. Because there's a bonbons aboard, melting. Yeah, I'm doing it right now, so yeah, tell me about it. Right now. Yeah, yeah. How's John Schaefer, by the way? John okay? Schaefer, he's doing well. He's doing well. He's talking about the other day. Let's get away sorry. from the conversation because we can't hear you. Okay, tell me about the Solar Living Center. Why are you in New York? Why am I in New York now? Yeah. Well, the Solar Living Institute has long wanted to expand our program nationwide. And we have a lot of supporters out here on the East Coast, especially in the New York City area. So we thought it was a good opportunity to sort of start discussing some of our future plans, uh, rally some support, give people a chance to network. Uh, we happen to know the owner of this particular establishment. He invited us to come out and said, I'll bring out the chocolate, you bring out the wine. And uh, so it's essentially an opportunity. So are we going after the suburban market? Oh, we're going after everything. I mean, you know, sustainability is not an urban or issue. Sustainability is an international, universal issue. And so uh, what the Solar Living Institute is about is demonstrating, inspiring, and educating. So uh, we're here to begin that discussion here. So what's the market for solar in the tri-state area? What's the market for solar in the tri-state area? You know, that's a good question. I hope to find out more about that now that I'm happy. So you're not very familiar with the area? Uh, Have I'm, you been here before? Have you spent time around New York? I'm or? not a New Yorker. No, oh. I'm in California. That's why I'm, that's why I'm here talking to you folks. I think maybe there's some other people in the room who could better answer that question. I'm referring to Chris Nyland. Do you know about Indian Point? I do not. No. Do you know there's a nuclear power plant about 20 minutes up the river? Sure. And we're going to shut this nuclear power plant down, Excellent. which means that we're going to end up with a lag of 2,000 megawatts that we need to replace. Bill. So it's going to create a surge in demand for alternative power. So how do you address that need? Can you supply it? Do you know the installers? Do you have the raw materials and do you have the panels? Can you get them from China? Can we get this thing moving so we can actually put all this stuff on people's roofs because they're going to buy it just like they bought a Prius because it's going to make them feel good? I think the solution to increasing energy supply is uh, multiple. Uh, one of the things I think that's out there, there's uh, thousands of megawatts of unclaimed energy conservation. And I always emphasize the need. Ban the bulb. They're doing that in Australia. You're not, gonna, you're not going to be able to buy an incandescent bulb Band anymore. An incandescent bulb. There's a great policy solution right there. Stroke yep. of the pen. And there's so guys in New Jersey right now with EarthTech products, and they want to put an LED bulb in every single home on Long Island. Exactly. So that's got to be a big part of the solution. That's the low-hanging fruit before we start importing panels from not China, Japan, 
Europe, a lot of the big companies are uh, setting up production facilities here in the United States. But I want to give awesome business to Real Goods. I want them to sell more panels than God. Okay, well, talk to Real Goods. <laughs> I thought there was a connection between what you're doing yeah, and Real Goods. It's, it's, what is the connection between you okay, and Real Goods? Real Goods is a private company that was started in 1978 by John Schaefer. Which is now owned in part by Guyan. Which is now owned totally by Guyan. Totally. Okay, he sold his uh, last 16% interest? And about ten, I, okay. About, about 10 years ago, um, Real Goods started offering classes and workshops, and there was obviously a demand and an interest in education, which is really much more of a non-profit type of activity than a for-profit. So they basically spun off, if you will, the Solar Living Institute. I like to think of it as, of us as the adult child of Real Goods. So we're on our own. We've got to balance our own budget. So we've got our own staff. Uh, we do share real estate. We have a facility in Northern California. So you train electricians. You train solar installers. We train installers. We train exactly inspiration okay. education. In Vermont, you have a Sunnyside Solar, which has pretty much done it for the Northeast. They've been pretty much by themselves training anybody in the Northeast that is putting up solar panels. It's been done by Sunnyside Solar in Vermont. Okay, great. Yeah. So uh, our role is education inspiration. That's what we're all about. So we're not making anything up selling anything other than knowledge. And our objective is to inspire and educate so as many people as we can. Selling arm then is real good. Real good is a retailer, right? Seller of solar panels. Yes. Yeah. Okay. One of one of a number of excellent and one of the original. And they have representation here inside ABC Home. Is that part of I that? They do. Yes, that is correct. Yes, that's okay. part of the connection that brought us, brought us here. Okay. At ABC Real Give me your name again on the website. My name is Duran, D-O-R-O-N, Duran Amran. I'm the uh, program and development director for the Solar Living Institute. Check us out at solarliving.org. Okay. Thank you for tonight. Thanks for the chocolate. Hey, no problem. Take care. Okay. Now we're working uh, for a nonprofit called Solar One, uh, and we actually have a remote real loud uh, education program in our uh, out here in the city. Yeah, and you put on an event by the water every year, right? Yeah, well, an event series called City Hall. Uh, it was rather successful this year. It was good. It was only our, our real first year doing it in a series, so uh, we're right now in the process of trying to. Raise. Isn't Solar One affiliated somehow with Gregory Kiss? Gregory Kitts is going to be the architect. Uh, he's going to be the architect for our new building. It's going to be a 10,000 square foot net zero. And Solar One actually sells solar equipment, or is it just a demo we unit? We're just, we're just an education and arts organization. So, so if project. people come to you and they say, we want this on our house, what do you do? Well, I, I just, because uh, by connections in New York, at our organization, we can direct them to a number of different people who do do that. Like who? Uh, Bright Power, uh, Home Power, uh, Exotic Systems, Solar Energy Systems. And all these are based in the Tri-State area? They're all based uh, actually right within uh, the city. Uh, so there's a number of people doing it. And the first, first thing we do is that first And they're all linked from your website? Uh, we don't have any, we don't have them linked yet from the website, but we do. So if anybody has any, any questions about it, we can tell about it. Who's doing it? What's your website? What's the solar1.org. Solar1.org. Solar Thanks, man.